After gaining 100,000 plus subscribers on all four of my channels, I can confidently say that. The hardest part about becoming a YouTuber is creating that first channel. It should be easy, right? But the moment you open YouTube, you're suddenly hit with pop-ups, settings, and branding stuff you don't even know how to define. Next thing you know, you're putting it off to, I'll just do this later, and you're not alone. This is where most beginner creators get stuck because no one ever showed them how to set things up in a way that makes sense to someone who's never done it before. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process like you're sitting right next to me. I'll show you exactly what to click, what to name it, what to skip, and how to make your channel look like you've been doing this for years. We'll cover the things most people never talk about. And no, you don't need special software, fancy gear, or any prior experience whatsoever. Let's jump in. All right, step one, let's actually get you a YouTube account. First thing you need to do is head to youtube.com. Once you're there, look up at the top right corner of the screen where you'll see a sign in button, click that. Now, if you already have a Google account that you don't mind being tied to your YouTube channel, you can use that. But if you want a clean slate or you'd rather not have your old high school Gmail tied to a potential business, hit create account. This saves you a lot of headaches in the future. From there, you'll get a few options. I suggest you choose for work or business. This online smoother team access later. Like if you ever hire an editor or want someone to help manage uploads or analytics, this lets you grant them access without sharing your inbox or Google Drive. Even if it's just you sitting at home in your hoodie, this isn't about being a company. It's more about keeping your YouTube identity separate from your private life. You don't want your full name or personal Gmail tied to a channel you might end up growing. After that, you'll go through the usual Google setup stuff. Enter a name and for that, you can make one up. If this is just for YouTube, it doesn't have to match your channel name. Then create an email if you need to, or use one you already own that isn't your personal account. Then set a password. Next, Google might ask you to verify your account with a phone number. And please don't skip this. I know it feels like a hassle, but if you want access to key YouTube features later, those require a verified account. So go through the extra 10 seconds and never think about it ever again. Now that your account's ready, it's time to officially create your YouTube channel. This is the part where you'll choose your channel name and your handle. So first, let's talk about your channel name. This is the name people will see on your channel homepage and under your videos. It's what shows up when someone searches for you or clicks through to your profile. You can call it anything you want, but I would recommend keeping it simple. If you have to explain it every time, it's probably too complicated. Now, right below that, YouTube will ask for a handle. Think of this like your username, just like you'd have on Instagram or TikTok. Your handle is what people can tag you with in comments, and it's also what becomes your URL. So yeah, it matters a little, but don't stress it, because the good part is that you can change both your channel name and handle later. Don't let this be the thing that stops you. You don't need the perfect brand identity today, you need a starting point. If you're totally stuck, you can ask ChatGPT for help. Type in something like, give me 25 channel name ideas for a channel that helps who with what. It's free, takes only 30 seconds, and removes the pressure of coming up with a banger on the spot. The only thing I would be checking before completely settling on your name is, check if there are any other big YouTube channels with that name. Since then, you will be starting at a disadvantage, and it will be much harder to stand out. Other than that, that's it. All right, now it's time to make your channel actually look like a real channel, and not just some empty shell with your name on it. First up, your profile picture. This is the little image that shows up next to your comments, next to your videos, and right at the top of your channel page. On YouTube, it shows up as a circle, so keep that in mind when you're picking or designing it. If you're starting from scratch, use a free tool like Canva or Snappa. Set the size to 800 by 800 pixels and make sure your face or logo fits right in the center. If you're a personal brand, just go with a clear, friendly headshot. If you're building around a topic or niche, you can use a logo or even a fun icon that fits your style. The main thing is that it should feel like you. Even if it's just a random photo taken today, don't overthink it. The goal isn't perfection. Next is your channel banner. This is the big rectangular image that runs across the top of your channel homepage. And this is where most beginners overcomplicate it. You don't need a full design agency or some crazy photo shoot. Just pick a clean background color. Maybe add your name or channel theme in big readable text. And if you want to go the extra step, include a short tagline or schedule like new videos every week or easy cooking tips for beginners. And if design isn't your thing, just grab a free YouTube banner template from Canva. They've already got the sizing and safe zones built in. YouTube even shows you a preview of how your banner will look on TV, desktop, and mobile. So keep all the important stuff in the middle. And finally, your channel description. This is the about tab, but the first part of it also shows up in search results and preview windows. So the first 100 characters really matter. Think of it like your pitch. Here you can write something like helping beginner guitarists learn their first songs fast or simple fitness tips for busy parents. This is the part where you 
tell a bit about your channel and what you are helping people with. You can always go back later and add more details, links, or keywords. Once your channel is starting to take shape visually, there's one more super important thing you need to do before uploading anything, and that's verifying your channel. To accomplish this, head into YouTube Studio. On the left-hand menu, scroll down and click on Settings. From there, go to the Channel section, then click on the Feature Eligibility tab. You'll see a section called Intermediate Features. Right next to it is a button that says Verify. Click it. It's going to ask you to enter your phone number again. Kind of annoying, but it's 100% worth it. YouTube's not trying to spam you. They just need to confirm that you're a real person and not a bot. Once you enter your number, they'll send you a quick text with a code. Type that in and you're verified. But you are probably wondering, why does this matter? Because this one little step unlocks a bunch of essential features you'll definitely need. First, it lets you upload videos longer than 15 minutes, which if you're planning to make tutorials, breakdowns, vlogs, or literally any kind of content that runs past the basic intro length, you'll need this from day one. Second, it allows you to upload custom thumbnails, which is huge. Thumbnails are the very first thing people see when they come across your video. If you're stuck with the random auto-generated frames from your video, your click-through rate is going to suffer. Custom thumbnails let you design exactly how your video is presented. Your thumbnail is 90% of the reason someone clicks or scrolls past. If you're putting effort into the video, you don't want a thumbnail of you blinking mid-sentence. Third, it's the first step toward monetizing your channel. Even if you're not thinking about making money yet, setting this up now saves you from scrambling later. Plus, you'll need to be verified before you can even apply to the YouTube Partner Program when the time comes. And finally, Verifying your channel helps increase your upload limits, unlocks live streaming, and gives your account more official standing in YouTube's system. So yeah, this tiny step has a big impact. Get it done, and you won't have to think about it ever again. All right, now that you've got your channel verified, we're gonna tweak a few standard options that most beginners don't even know exist until something goes wrong. So head back into settings in YouTube Studio, and this time click on Upload Defaults. This is where you set the automatic options for all the videos you upload. And trust me, setting these up now saves you a lot of hassle later. I know that from experience. First thing, go to the visibility section, change it from public to private, because the last thing you want is for your video to go live the second it finishes uploading, especially if you haven't added your title or thumbnail yet. It's way too easy to accidentally upload and have something go live before it's even ready. Setting it to private means you control exactly when your video is published. Next, here's one that catches a lot of people off guard. I'm referring to the is your content made for kids setting. YouTube requires creators to label their content as either made for kids or not, and they are super strict about it. If you don't answer this question, you'll have to do it manually every single time you upload a video. So let's just set a default. Now back into the settings, click on channel and over into the advanced tab, scroll to the audience section. If your content isn't made specifically for children under 13, like if you're making tutorials, vlogs, tech reviews, whatever, choose no, it's not made for kids. But if your content is aimed at younger viewers like toy unboxings or cartoons, then click yes. Pick what fits your niche and lock it in. So you don't have to keep checking the box every time. That's it for the default settings, and you are almost done and ready to start posting. Your channel's live and the basics are locked in. You did the part most people never get through, and setting up the channel is difficult, but keeping it alive is way harder. Because once you upload that first video and it gets six views, two likes, and not a single comment, that's where motivation dies, to the point when you don't even want to post a single video ever again. But it's not you. It's because you don't know how to get your videos in front of people. I know that because I've been there. I was unsure, didn't know what to post, and was ready to give up on ever starting another YouTube channel. But then I discovered a growth strategy that little to no people knew about. And with that exact strategy, I got all of my four channels to 100,000 plus subscribers. So the next step I have for you is to just watch the next video. It's a free YouTube course that teaches you exactly how to use YouTube's algorithm to make your videos go viral. It shows you how to title and make your video so they show up in search and rank number one on YouTube and go viral with any of the videos you post. And it will show you exactly how to get your first 10K views even if you made your channel just now. You don't need a strategy that works for giant channels with teams and budgets. You need a beginner system that takes you step by step from zero to 10,000 views. Get started with the link below.